Good evening and thank you so much for joining us uh, for the Design Technology and Visual Arts uh, Academic Scholarship presentation. Um, we are delighted to be joined uh, this evening by Mr. Darren Stokes, who is the Director of Design, Technology and Visual Arts. Uh, he oversees uh, all three branches of, of the arts here in Creative Subjects at Malvern College. And he's going to talk to you about the scholarship assessments and, and process at both 13 plus and 16 plus. So, Mr. Stokes, I'll, I'll hand over to you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just going to start my presentation just one moment. Right, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm uh, Mr. Stokes. I'm um, the Director of Design, Technology and Visual Arts, the, the whole of the faculty. So I'm just going to talk through our 13 plus and our 16 plus scholarships. Um, oops. Hang on a moment. So I'm just going to start with our 13 plus scholarships, um, just to talk through about the assessment process and what people who are applying will go through. Um, so when you've applied, we'll invite you in for a half a day of an assessment um, process. Um, and these will involve different types of activities, um, two or three different activities, just to see how you perform um, when we're giving you a task. Um, and they will range um, from uh, different things for the different departments that uh, we do. But it, it really isn't something which we consider as an kind of exam experience. It's more of us trying to get an understanding and know the individuals, what their strengths are, uh, and it's a bit of a way of us trying to get to know them as well. Um, it's more than just the work that we're interested in, it's the individuals themselves and what they have to offer and what their aspirations are. So it's very much about getting to know them as much as possible. Um, all of the staff in the department will be involved with it, so it won't just be one person interviewing. And as I say, it's, it's not meant to be something which is stressful or can cause any kind of anxiety. It is something that we hope that they'll enjoy to come along and be part of. With art and photography, um, the portfolio that we ask you to bring along um, shouldn't really consist of anything more than 10 slides. Um, what we like to see is a good variety of work, um, things that you may can pick out from your sketchbook, experimental work, as well as kind of finished pieces. But one of the things that's really important to us is that the, whatever the candidate uh, selects for their uh, portfolio, that they're really confident about talking about it and confident about where their ideas came from and why they were doing that. Um, with Design technology, it's a slightly different request for the portfolio. So um, on the information we send out, we have uh, give kind of guidance on a, the design project and aspects of what we'd like to see. Um, and we give you a kind of indication of the uh, areas that you could think about. Um, they are just guidance, so, but they're kind of prompts for you to kind of think about what the type of project would, you'd like to do. And as I say, it gives you guidance to the step-by-step process, design process of what we'd like to see. But it is essentially to see the whole of the process, how, uh, how the candidates would research ideas, develop their ideas, and to come up with a final product. Um, final products, you don't have to bring them with you. Uh, it can just be photographs, but it is always nice to see the finished products that they can bring in. But obviously, uh, it just depends on size and ease. Um, but we're very happy with just having photographs. With the 16 plus scholarships, it's just a slightly different um, thing. We're not expecting uh, them to come in and do any kind of activity or perform in any way. It's more of a case of bringing along a portfolio with evidence of the kind of work that they've been doing in year 10 and year 11. And particularly what we're interested in is work that they've done outside of the school environment, personal work, independent work, um, we're trying to see where they want to go in the future, what their aspirations are again, and um, the kind of direction that they feel that's going to be beneficial to them. Um, 
it's really is about preparing them and thinking about the kind of future that we're trying to see where they want to head off to in, in their kind of career pathway. Um, so we can see what we can do to help them. And then on the portfolio side of things, again, it's, it's, it's uh, no more than 10 slides. Um, again, it's a range of different work, depending on the kind of discipline that they're doing. Uh, sketchbook work, design iteration, CAD, it could be digital imaging. Um, it's anything that they feel that they have a, 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 a real interest in. Um, and again, as I said, we want to see work that they've done independently. Um, the things we're trying to think about is that kind of push onto university, studying what they might study in university and what we can help them um, to help kind of develop for their future. Now, in terms of what um, award holders will do, and this is both uh, ap applies to um, scholars and um, to the exhibition holders. Um, we kind of put them through a kind of fast track sort of uh, series of workshops, demonstrations, ex uh, giving them experiences that may, may not have had before. Uh, we've got a huge variety of uh, uh, different areas of expertise within our staff, as well as the kind of the, the uh, amazing facilities that we've got on offer here that um, we kind of open up and say, right, come along, have a go at this, try these things out. You may not have done anything like this before. And again, it's, it's both using traditional methods as well as uh, contemporary. So it could be from painting with oil to 3D printing to using a, a um, dark room facilities, to using uh, lathes. Um, it's a wide range of things and skills that they'll be able to do. But underpinning that is the, the uh, ability to develop their conceptual thinking and really push them and, 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 and try and get them to start thinking as designers and artists and photographers uh, in, about their own kind of thoughts and ideas. Um, and that's really what we'll do in terms of giving them projects so that they can really focus on developing their, their individual uh, kind of development. Um, and the other thing is that we open up um, the, the faculty to allow um, the holders really to, if they've got that passion and drive, they can really immerse themselves in what's, uh, what we have available to them. So. Every day after school, we're open until six, we're open until nine o'clock on a Wednesday evening, and then also Sunday afternoons from two o'clock to five o'clock. So there's, there's plenty of opportunity to fit things around that what might be a really busy um, life for them in school. They've still got the opportunity to kind of devote lots of time to kind of further their uh, own area of work. And then kind of um, expectations what we would expect from them well we would see them as being kind of ambassadors for for the faculty and and really kind of leading their peers in terms of uh, their kind of approach to the way that they work um to kind of engage with events and that we are we set up and involved with um, also to kind of help with other projects that might be going on whether to be for lower school projects that we're running um, cross-curricular projects we may be holding to kind of get them to kind of come in and supervise and help. Um, there's also kind of weekly sessions which would be an expectation for them to come to um, and those are the times when we can kind of do the fast track things, get them to experience things that may be a little bit too difficult with larger groups or within lessons, we can give them that kind of specialist uh, chance. Um, we'd encourage them to get into ex uh, put their work forward for exhibitions and competitions. Um, and if they're in the um, lower school, then we would like to see them move from the lower school and study the subject in sixth form. It's, it's not a requirement. It's just something that we'd encourage them to do. Uh, and that's just the same with our 16 plus award holders. We'd expect them or would like them to go on to study at university at, at um, and in later after school. Um, and it really is about building up that kind of uh, links um, for us as a faculty to see the, the pupils and go on and flourish 
uh, at university and the outside world. And the main aim is really that they uh, are going to be producing the work of the highest caliber and, and really set examples to their peers, um, really to kind of get them to um, lead the way um, for, for the faculty um, in terms of our pupils and students. Okay, thank you very much. So um, I'll just stop, stop sharing and um, see if anybody has any questions. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Mr. Stokes. Um, I think you might have touched on, on uh, this during your presentation, but I wonder if you might be able to expand. We have a question um, about, is there the, the opportunity for uh, me to have any workshops or events with anyone, any professionals, if I'm interested in textiles as a career, if I'm a scholar? Uh, I suppose that covers the, the artists, the photographers and, and the design technologists as well. So uh, I wonder if you could um, expand on that. Yeah, we have a, a regularly have sort of OMs who have uh, connections with the professional worlds that um, um, regularly come in and chat to the students or give demonstrations, um, lectures, um, and that's across all the disciplines. But um, particularly within in the uh, textiles, uh, we have a, a, an OM who was very famous for designing a dress um, that was um, for opening up of the Oscars. So there's all of these kind of connections that we we have um, that uh, are available for for people. Um, we've got contacts um, through the the staff that we have who are specialists in their discipline. So it's um, we're always bringing in artists, designers, textiles artists as well, um, and all of our staff are practitioners. Um, so they are involved and in getting hands on and building and making their own work. So it's very much a, um, able to kind of pull in uh, uh, this understanding from contemporary practice as well as historical practice for, for the students to, to, to have a go. So yes, lots of opportunities for those kind of activities to happen. Wonderful, thank you. And and for those listening, I uh, just want to explain that OM is Old Mulvernian and that's the name we give to the alumni of 